And I taught you about a reflection. The next thing I just don't understand is refraction. I think I can help you with that. Because, you see, refraction. Now, the thing about refraction is the change in the speed of a wave as it enters a different medium. If the wave enters at an angle, the slowing down will result in the wave changing direction. Also, due to the wave slowing down, the frequency will increase and the wavelength will decrease. I see, do a little pretty diagram right here. Yeah, see, this is the diagram. The red lines represent the wave and the blue arrows represent the direction of the waves. This is a deep portion of the water and this is shallow and that's the barrier where it becomes shallow. Alright, as you can see, as the waves go up like this and they hit this barrier right here, they bend and go this way. Now, in the deep water, the waves go faster. Thus, the frequency is less and the wavelength is more. In the shallow, they go slower, creating the wavelength to be smaller and the frequency to be more. So, conveniently, we can use that toy you're playing with and this stopwatch that I was playing with, and we can use that in our example. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good example right here. Alright, now these two containers of water, they both have the same size sides, and they're both squares. That means that they both have the same distance per diagonal. So I saw this final example right here, and according to the diagram that I just showed you, he should swim faster in this deep tank, which is around that deep, than he should in this tank, which is more shallow, around that deep. So, Jason, I'm going to make you time this to prove to yourself that this actually works. And my example is really good. Alright, ready for this? Once I put him in the water and let go, I want you to start. Okay, ready? Set. Go. Stop. What time is that? One second and 88 milliseconds. Good. Now for the shallow part. Ready? Set. Go. Stop. Two seconds in 45 milliseconds. There. That proves that deeper water goes faster than shallow water. So, Jason, what did you learn about our, my fine example right here? Well, I learned that in the deep container, the waves will move a lot faster than the ones in the shallow container. And also, the frequency in this one is a lot higher than the one in this one. And it's the exact opposite for the wavelength. Longer here <laughs> and shorter here. Seriously, Chris? You could have just asked me what diffraction was. I'm sorry. <laughs> You see, Chris, diffraction is the bending and spreading of a wave around the edge of an object. And one important factor is Eugene's principle, where any point on a wavefront can be treated as a point source of waves. You know, Chris, as convenient as these signs are, I also conveniently have videos of the ripple tank showing diffraction. Oh, let's take a look at them. <laughs>
fun. Physics is fun. Yeah, alright. Well, another thing about physics is, what is interference? Well, you see, interference, Chris, you see, interference is the process in which two or more coherent waves combine to form a resultant wave. But I think it will be a lot easier for me to show on my computer than on this poster. I set up two points that will generate rays, one right here and one right here. Now, if you look, The green parts of these waves are the high points, and the red parts are the low points. And these black lines that you see forming are where they cancel out or subtract. So, in points where they converge, where they're very bright green, they are adding together, and parts where they are black, they are subtracting. Now you see, Chris. If you look at this 3D view, you can see a more detailed version where these green, brightly colored parts mix together and add together to make larger waves, and in these gray parts where they subtract to make very subtle, tiny waves. Vertical sledding, Jason? Yeah, yeah, I don't really know how this has to do anything with physics, though. Well, we're going to learn about the Doppler effect. Uh, what, what's the Doppler effect? Alright, so, Doppler effect is when a source of waves is in motion, it has a higher frequency and lesser wavelength and the direction it is traveling. And it's pretty much vice versa in the opposite direction. So wavelength is greater and the frequency is less. Now, in these diagrams down here, it shows a normal source of a sound or a wave. And over here, it's the Doppler effect. Point source is moving that way, so wavelength is greater, frequency is less. Over here, where, it towards where it's moving, wavelength is less and frequency is greater.